Hello everyone. Uh, uh, just a little bit a uh, question to you. How many have you heard about common line argument? I think, think uh, have everybody have you heard about common line argument? So command line argument is when we uh, write a command in your <coughs> command line, in your DOS prompt, MS DOS prompt or your um, Linux terminal. So often we also pass argument. Suppose uh, there is a command called type. So in a type command, what we do? Say, just let me check out how many files are there. Okay, so I want to type bubble.c. So this bubble search.c is a uh, argument in the comma with the command. The command is type and the argument is bubble.c. So when we pass this argument, it prints the content of the file. So in some way there are many more, suppose when you use copy command. So copy, you put the source file and the target file. The source file, source path and file name and target path and file name, these are all arguments in command line. So we are going to write a program today to understand what is command line. So let's begin with this and we are going to just uh, write a program just like type command the name of the program will be read file and it will take an argument of a file name and print the content of the file so we are starting with our header files stdio.h and void main we often use void main but we are going to do something different that is int argc this is the command line and there star argv that is array mm, pointer to an array okay argb is, a, is an array and this is there is a character caster pointer to the now to that array now let me specify what to, to tell you what is argc and what is argv argc is um, when we pass argument to a command with a command uh, if you suppose you only type the command say dir whatever okay it is some external command say attrib or cmd say cmd also cmd slash c whatever so whenever when we pa only pass the command the value of argc is one as soon as you started passing mm, suppose you pass type file name dot txt so value of ARGC will be ARGC will be 2 so suppose we write copy file name 1 txt to file name 2 dot txt so value of ARGC will be 3 so ARGC counter which is called actually ARGC means argument counter so argument counter actually counts all the um, so word space delimited word here so here are three space delimited words so argument counter will return three so here in our program we will pass one argument with the command two. so total argument counter will be two so uh, first let us declare uh, we will open a file so we are using file uh, file pointer okay a pointer of type file File is a structure, you can find it in stdio.h. If you find the stdio.h equal file, the structure is defined there. Okay, so we are using this and anything required. No. Well, now we will check if argc less than 2, then we will print. If it is less than 2, that means that I only has entered the command or enter the exe name of the exe file. Okay. So we will print that no file name specified. File name specified. So what we will we supposed to do? You can return or you can exit zero. Okay. So we should. There's more than more than one come. I mean, 
sorry there are more than one expression so I'll put it in the place now else you can put else you can also put another if so doesn't mind else if just a moment you add this in greater than 2 too many arguments as you know we will only pass one file name so the message will be too many arguments so, so if it goes out of this then obviously add this equal to which is our uh, actual requirement now what we will do now we comes to ARGV ARGV is a array of pointers or you can say array returning pointers so each uh, each block or each element of ARGV contains a pointer to a string to a set of characters so when we type say suppose the name of file is read file read file say abc.txt so in ARGV1 ARGV0 I'm sorry the, it will be uh, the command read file command read file the string will be read file and ARGV1 what will be can you guess it is abc.txt ok so we will check for ARGV1 because we are not concerned with the name of the command because it is already the file binary file so we will just open the file now the command for opening the file is if open ARGV1 and we will open it in read mode so we have opened and uh, let us declare another variable which is char because I will read the character and store it in this char C variable char variable so now we will start a while loop C equal to get C get C is a function which takes input a file pointer so and I'll check until it is end of file remember everything is case sensitive here so you just keep in mind that you don't miss any type of case error by writing the proof so what does it do we know that comparison pointer is relational operator which is equal to it is equal to equal to but if we put equal to with, uh, maybe it is in the while loop but still it attempts to assign the value returned by get c to the c variable okay so get c takes the file pointer reads from the file one character and return it to c so what we what we supposed to do now we don't need a brace because we just put a single expression put char c you know put char put char is a uh, it is also a type of put c which in put char is actually a macro which uh, does this put c std out so std out is the display console buffer or display memory whatever you say and it just puts it just write it to that display buffer file okay so it is actually defined like this in stdr.h has defined put cache put c std out in the same way it is you can also find get cache it is get, get get c but it's it, this time it is obviously std in okay so i didn't use get cache because i'm reading from uh, disk file not console file okay not input buffer file okay so get cp not equal to eof so when when it returns to c it also returns the c returns to the while loop get c returns to c assigns to c and c also return it to while loop and while loop checks whether it is eof it is if it is not eof the while loop continues running iteration goes on so put char is there now i will close the file press close p so it's all done i'll save the file 
and location of the file will be obviously where is my bin directory of turbo c and name of the file is read file dot c i hope it is done now we will move to our command line okay tc read file dot c yes got it So there is an error. Okay, let me check it. <coughs> Just a minor error. It's I've written print. In, in print uh, print instead of print f so now i think it's okay now okay now still it's displaying error print f what may have happened okay uh, i have just used uh, written print in print f instead of print f so i've changed it to print f now now we have to exit it we we can run it from this uh, compiler interface but for that you do need to do one thing you go to i think option oh just a moment ah let me check ha huh, argument in argument we can give the name of the file read file.c now let's run it press f5 okay so this is a bit messy so i just exit this uh -huh. okay let's compile it once again now save it exit read file i'll read the same file read file dot c okay can you get it Okay, get the display of the file. Uh, the, what type command we have used? Type bubbles dot c. Now instead, I will write read file bubble dot c. Okay, cls. So you get it. So this is the command line argument. Uh, let us attempt some error. No argument is given. No file name specified. Um, given two argument too many arguments see how it checks for the arguments it only works when our argc is two okay so when argc is one is first one is read file second one is bubble dot c and then it works now that's all about the command line argument uh, this is a simple program in command line argument and i hope i will just come with a bigger and more interesting program in command line argument uh, i uh, maybe you can look uh, through my follow my video later on i'll work with some programs of uh, like a dance doll where the character will start dancing okay it will just go toggle from uppercase to lowercase and lowercase to uppercase so you can uh, wait for that it will i'll just try for within a few days to do such things so that's all about this video i hope you like it please do like like button if you like the video and do subscribe to my channel scbhr1976 thank you very much